Hey everybody, this is Jake Lionheart, and thanks for joining me on my channel here at El Cheapo Comics. That was a super awkward introduction. Great way to start off this new year, 2016. And why not do a video about crappy old 2015 that just left? Am I right? <laughs> you and what army? Do you like sushi? But bad partner. Anyways, something in my top five of 2015. Starting off with numero cinco, A Force. That's right. Did y'all read A Force? You should have read A Force. Y'all that did read it, am I right? Can I get a high? Do it. Slap your monitor. Do it. I think you did it. I can't tell because this is recorded. It's A Force. Awesome book. Awesome characters, awesome concept, and obviously it is so dang good, that's why we got this new run, am I right? I do it. Do it again. A-Force, man, if you get, haven't read it, you need to read it. It's pretty good. There's probably going to be trade coming out super soon if it's not out already. And you just jump on Comixology and probably pick that up, or just go to your comic shop, man. Pick it up, ask for it. Tell him. Tell him Jake told you to get it. Then you say, who the heck is Jake? And you'll be like, some super fat dude on the internet. And they'll be like, there's a whole bunch of fat dudes on the internet. And be like, touche. And that's all you can tell them, just touche. Because there's a lot of fat dudes on the internet. Number four. It's Marvel again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 1872. What? Did you read it? This one, if you didn't read A-Force, that's your bad. But this one, 1872, is really, really good. If you're a fan of Westerns, if you're a fan of Marvel, if you like 1602, get this book. This book is phenomenal all the way through. Uh, they are not kind to some characters that you would think they should be kind to. And just the way they envision villains and superheroes to fit the Western times is pretty awesome and imaginative and that alone requires you to look at it you required it you need to do this required i don't know who's requiring it of you not me because i can't require you to do nothing yes i can't go do it high five again don't do it don't psych mm, i got you got you sucker got you number three Y'all ready? Y'all don't even know what's number three. Guess what? It's not DC. Guess what? It is not Marvel's. It's Dark Horse! Zodiac Star Force! What? The pink book? Yeah, the pink book! That's right. I said it. I'm a dude, bro. Represent. I got the tats on. I'll be like banging on cats. I'll be like Zodiac Star Force all day, every day, homeboy. What? Don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. I spend, I'm spending a lot on this video. I don't know what's wrong. That's how excited I am. I get excited. I get spitty. Like it's people be like, oh, he's really excited about this book. I don't know what's going on. This is so much spittle. Anyways, it's really good. It's super fun. It's chill. It's relaxed. It's hilarious. Well, I don't want to say it's hilarious. You know, like, ah, no. But it's funny. It's got some good stuff in it. All right. It's not really a comedy, but there's comedy in it, and it's it's a fun time. I enjoyed it a lot. I believe that's why it's on my number three. Do it. Get it, got it, read it, uh, put it away, pull it out again, read it again. Be like, yo, I need to tell a friend. They'd be like rapping all the time, my dude. And then you'd be like, I'm a I don't know what I'm doing. Shut up. My number two pick is the kill screen. This was almost number one. It was one of those where it was like, was that number one? It was like, and then it was like, and it was like, ah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm doing. Sound effect dude, you know what I'm talking about. There's some dude out there only talks in sound effects. He like sees his mom, blah, 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 and his mom's like, blah, blah, blah. and then that's how they talk. That dude knows what I'm talking about when I'm expressing the, blah, blah. anyways, that went way too long. 
Uh, number two, Kill Screen, because it's awesome. Uh, to me, I felt like it kind of came out of nowhere, even though I kind of knew about it. The homeboy, Saul, at Perspective, uh, he heard about it when I did a review of this joint. Boom, graphics. Uh, I did the joint Samurai uh, Slasher. The homeboy, Mike Garley, who wrote that, did the Kill Screen. And uh, Perspective started reading it. He was like, yeah, that's pretty good. I really like it. It's not finished on Comixology, though. Somehow or another, Mike Garley got a hold of me, and he was just like, uh, yeah, I lent the Samurai Slasher thing that you did. That was pretty cool. Uh, let me throw it down for you. Let me up the game, because that was me just joking. No, he wasn't joking. He was actually serious. But he's like, yo, this is just this is what I just do for fun. Let me show you what I do when I get serious. I have no idea why it sounds like Mike Garley's about to drop a mixtape or stab somebody. But anyways, hit me up with those, and I'm like... I kickstarted that joint. I'm telling you, it was really good. The stories, it's, it keeps you hooked. I read through those Super's four issue arc, ran through them, went back, ran through it again, and it just leaves you wanting more, and you know more is gonna come, and it's gonna be awesome. So keep an eye on Mike Garley in 2016, cause that dude's got some really dope stuff, all right? Number one for 2015, for me. All right, this one meant a lot to me for personal reasons, and that is Torso Bear. Yo, for real, it's like some of y'all be like, no, wait a minute, what about all of the DC, the Marvel, the Dark Horse? Hold on, those were great. But as far as what I read in 2015, Torso Bear took it. For me, personally, on a personal note, okay? This is why. Um, I had a crappy 2015. Like, 2015 was marked by, like, badness and delf, uh, which translates to delf. And I'm talking about, like, yo, this is really heavy and dark, and I'm like, oh, my God. And um, Torso Bear came at a point where I was just like, Super feeling low. I'm like, man, I don't even know if I want to do any of this. And um, I get an email. Hey, talk to this dude named Mike Garley who uh, said you did some pretty cool stuff. What if I send you some stuff to check out? And I don't know about you, but to me, anybody in the comic industry emails me. I'm just like, yo, I feel like who the heck am I that you emailing me? You know, I got this email. I'm like, I would love, I would, please. My year was not that great. This is like really cool. Please, I would love to look at your book. And um, so he sends it to me. And I'm like, this is so different. But I like it. And then, I'm going to get personal, all right? Can I get personal with you guys? I know I'm kind of goofy. And whatever, you don't usually see me. Um, the San Bernardino shootings happen. I don't know uh, how many of you guys, I'm pretty sure the whole country knows about this. But I'm actually like from San Bernardino. I live a city away from it. And uh, the shootings happen. And um, where I work during my day job, uh, I could see what was happening out a window. And not only that, but then because everything was on lockdown because of what was happening, um, we had the news up. So I'm watching the news. And I'm watching it out a window. So when the helicopters are like, we're getting kicked out by the cops, I could still see what was happening. And um, horrendous thing, terrible thing. And that was a Wednesday, and I was just thinking, man, like this is terrible. I can't believe this is happening. And uh, Thursday night... I find out that a guy, a really cool guy, a really awesome guy that I used to work with at a bookstore when I first got, like, fell in love with comic books, um, who helped me fall in love with comic books and regular novels, because I wasn't even an avid reader, even while I worked at a bookstore, <laughs> but showed me what great novels were. That guy was one of the 14 that lost his life that day. And uh, I didn't want to do this anymore. It just wasn't fun because I'm just like, all the stuff that I enjoy 
was influenced by this guy and another friend of ours. And um, I'm not saying all of this for y'all to be like, oh man, I'm really sorry for you, bro. Like, I'm not saying that. Um, because like, I worked with this guy for four, four years, but like, we were friends. But like, honestly, I think the thing that devastated me the most was that I let that friendship kind of wither away. And I think that's what is eating at me the most. So not to be like, hey, go out and do something nice for somebody. Um, but you know what? Consider the relationships you do have. Because you never know, man. I never thought anything like this would ever happen to me in my life. You see stuff like 9-11. You see stuff like the Boston stuff. You see the stuff in Paris. All this crazy stuff happening in the world. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I legitimately care about those people um, to a certain extent. Like all of us do. We still, we're, we're sitting here in kind of disbelief that this is happening. But when it personally affects you, it's, it's crazy. It's just like, yo, I need to reevaluate my life. And I'm saying all of that to actually point back to Torso Bear because Torso Bear helped me through that time in a way I don't think any other book or thing could have. Just because I knew when I was reading it, this was something that my friend Daniel would have really loved. And it is a ah, bleepity bleep, oh, I don't really like the curse, but it is a bleepity bleep, awesome, scribbity, scrabbly, rassafrassin' good time. And it just made me going through that time of, I guess, grief and, I guess, freaking self-hate because of whatever's whatever's. Um, a little bit easier. I just want to be real with you, at least on this number one, if you made it this far. Um, yo, it, this book, this is like my number one book, man. I don't know what's going to top this ever just because of when it hit and I know it's kind of it's kind of me being biased because of when it when it happened when I read it in my life um but I'm telling you the concepts behind it I have a, a video on it click the video I break it down there's different writers for different stories different artists it's an anthology and it all points to one story um it's amazing I also have to thank Brett, who put the whole Torso Bear saga together, because um, not only was he super kind to me and me reviewing this and putting it out, um, he also sent me like the trade paperbacks and he sent me, I'm gonna grab it real quick, hold on. And he sent me, no joke, this is like the coolest thing that's happened in 2015. Like he sent me, the torso tra the torso bear trades he sent me another trade that he worked on and super awesome artwork and he like personalized the trades like i'm super biased but yeah this dude's the best dude in the comic book industry check him out not because he's going to give you free stuff although i am super uh humbled um excited i just beyond myself at how great his generosity is um but this dude this dude knows how to craft the story he knows how to edit the stories and he knows how to tell and get people together and say hey this is what we're going for um so i'm telling you 2016 brett you're in look for him buy his stuff there's a kickstarter i'm telling you you're not going to be disappointed um it's going to be amazing so that's my top five of 2015. Sorry we got a little, um, serious? I don't know. Maybe it was good. Maybe it was good that you and me, we had the serious time. Because I don't know when I'm going to have another serious time. I'm not a serious guy. See you next time. Will you shut your mouth? I think I love you. Anyways, thanks for joining me, guys. Check out some of the other videos I did. Um, let me know if this format was cool, please. Like, if you got this far, would y'all please let me know if it was good or not? Would you like to see more videos like this, or would you like to see more videos like the ones I did? Cause I don't, I don't know what I want to do. But I want to do some cool stuff for you guys uh, as much as I can. 
talk about the cheapskate that I am and why I like comic books. So let me know in uh, the comments. I would really appreciate it. You can give me one of those thingamajiggies that look like this. I wish you could put my face next to it and be like, but uh, give me one of those. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you guys to subscribe and uh, be a part of my little community I'm trying to build up. Uh, yeah. Got anything you want to tell them before, you know, you in Run for your life! I'll cover you! I'm spitting. I don't know if the camera picked that up. I spitted it in over the pop filter, so at least this didn't get the spittle. But this is... Anyways, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I should probably stop punching over. Spittle. Spit it over. Anyways, if y'all don't know about it, go and look at my review. Uh, it's one of the reviews that I have that people actually watch. Yeah, I know. It's not just me. It didn't refresh. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, you should really look at it. It's pretty good. Number two is the kill zone. What the hell is the kill zone? That's not what it's called. <laughs> uh, my darling. <clears throat> My homeboy perspective, uh, Saul, he, he was like, I don't like it. Mike Garley, he was like, who's this dude? He went over there, he said, like, uh, I know I did this. I'm all over the place. Let me do this again. Um, that I, I, I'm telling you, man, it's hard for me to get me to kickstart anything. Like, I kickstart my car when it's busted down, you know, I kick it like, bow, and you better start working. But money, I'm just cheaper for a reason. Quit, <laughs> 